Well, Academy Award nominee Greg Kinnear is known for portraying real people on the big screen. He's played former Philadelphia Eagles coach Dick Vermeil and President John F. Kennedy. Well, now he's taking on the role of California Innocence Project attorney Justin Brooks in the new movie Brian Banks. The film is based on the true story of a teenage NFL prospect who was convicted of a crime he did not commit. After spending five years in prison and more time on parole, Brian Banks sought out Justin Brooks to prove his innocence. Mr. Brooks, I'm Brian Banks. Oh, hey, Brian. Yeah, you're the, uh, you're the football player, right? <laughs> you got my letter. I got your letters, plural, right? Well, look, Brian, I know Alyssa explained to you we only work with wrongly imprisoned people. I was wrongly imprisoned. I know, imprisoned. I know, but you're out now, OK? It's a good thing. And you took a plea. I only took a plea because I was. You don't have to explain. It's OK. It's OK. 97% of all cases plead out. But you didn't go to trial, so you can't appeal. There's nothing you can do. There's always something you can do. You can, you can file a habeas. And Greg Kinnear joins us at the table. Good morning. A long way from your days at Talk Soup. <laughs> right? <laughs> what did you post? I actually oh, remember watching that. You had to bring it up right at the beginning. Oh, yeah. Some bright lighting. <laughs> uh, got a table here. We can knock out a little bit. Yeah, but, you know, Brian Banks was actually at this table not too long ago uh, explaining his story. This was six, seven years ago. But um, it's a true story. It's an important story, especially when you consider just the timing that we're in. We just talked about Santoy Brown, who was released. Uh, from prison today, but you did some heavy research in terms of really getting to know that character. You set in on some of those law uh, uh, law classes from Justin Brooks at the Cal at California Western. Why was that so important, and what more did you do to prepare for this role? Well, you know, Justin, uh, in addition to starting the California Innocence Project, which has exonerated over 30 people, um, you know, some people have been locked up for 10, 20, 30 years. He's also a tenured professor. He's a law student. So, you know, I just wanted a course to hang out and see how he does his thing. And, of course, I was the stupidest guy in the law <laughs> class, yes. class that day. But, uh, you know, getting to follow him around and, and see him and, and see him do his thing and learn about what CIP was was obviously imperative. And, you know, it's amazing. I mean, usually when you make a movie... Uh, you, you don't always have the real life right. person, person to draw right. on. Right. You know, yeah. those, those Marvel guys don't can't look to Captain <laughs> yeah. Amazing. You know <laughs> what? So, so we we were lucky in that way to to have both Brian Banks and Justin Brooks there, as as great assets. You know, telling us exactly how these moments happened. Uh, in, in what was a really fantastic story. They're actually executive producers of the film, right? Yeah. yeah. And so yeah. were they on set the whole time? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, and it was, uh, you know, obviously for me, meeting, you know, when you, you read the story, I mean, yeah. Brian's journey, uh, he starts at 16 years old, wrongly convicted. He gets pulled into that criminal justice system, spends six years in prison, and, and really it was his own advocacy. Brian yeah. pulled the CIP with him through this story into... Uh, getting this case overturned with, with not a lot of uh, time left. And it was a little unusual, the case, in the sense that normally, um, you know, the CIP gets people who are locked up out of prison. Mm -hmm. Brian was out. He was out. He was on parole, but he And that's made... why they were hesitant to even take this. That's right. He was already on parole. That's right. But he made the case, I'm still in jail. Right. Yeah. You know, I, he still couldn't pursue his dreams as a, as a football player. He still couldn't go near a field because he's a registered sex offender. So, mm -hmm. you know, there were a lot of things working against him. And, um, and the story, you know, even if it weren't a true story, uh, played like a hell of a movie. The fact that all of this was real, the fact that these people, these kind of amazing and inspiring people were surrounding the, the, the story. Was Did the real Justin Brooks give you advice on how to argue a case <laughs> in court? I was wondering. <laughs> <laughs> Justin gave me a few acting tips. He did. <laughs> not afraid to do that. Uh, yeah, no, he was, uh, he was a great asset. And, uh, and, and obviously somebody I, you know, it's impossible not to admire a guy like this who's, yeah. you know, made this his life's work. He, he's never taken a dime from, uh, for, for this organization. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and they've done a lot of great work like this uh, from the get-go and the fact that you know these two stories aligned you know right at this moment was was what made a hell of a movie when you play a role like this and you attach to him in some way has that changed you in any way and how you approach some of the issues that are out there have you gotten more actively involved in some social justice issues or anything along those lines well it's impossible not to be deeply affected yeah uh, you know I, I think just any, watching listen it. I think anybody who sees the movie 
you know, and, I, and I'm hesitant to say that because when people say, oh, well, if you're going to be, you know, it's going to give you all sorts of civics lessons. I'm like, just give me a great movie, which I think this it film is. is. Yeah. It is. But in addition to that, just following the truth of the story, I don't think you know there's a way in which you can't feel uh, a passion for for trying to, you know, get involved in that, you know, criminal justice reform and, and trying to really look at what you can do to try to play a part in, in a system that is, uh, at least when you look at Brian's case, in, in heavy need of some examination. As he says broken. Yeah. He says broken. Yeah. yeah, really giving insight into a serious matter and people being believed now, not just with the Me Too movement, but even in cases like this. Yeah. Thank you very much, Greg Kinnear. Thank you. Brian Banks is in theaters Friday.